in the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing but an uncreated triune God. This eternal God was holy and complete in himself. He lacked nothing, but he chose to create. He made a vast universe, and in it he placed a being made in his image, a man and then a woman, to enjoy God's perfection, to tend his creation, to stand in awe of his greatness, and to share his unending love. But love is a choice, and God did not force man's will. Man chose to go against God, and in doing so, he fell from perfection. His union with God was severed. The world was broken. For how could a just God, by his very nature incompatible with imperfection and sin, how could this God allow fallen man into his presence? And so sin brought a consequence, a curse, death. Man soon forgot the Creator. The purpose of his existence was lost to him. Its absence tore something inside, creating a pain that he masked with whatever small, fleeting pleasures he could find on the earth. But God did not turn his back. He revealed to man his code, his expectations, the standards by which he would judge. But man didn't stand a chance. No matter how hard he tried, no one could ever be good enough to measure up to a holy God. This did not catch God unprepared. He knew his law would only reveal to man how hopelessly short he fell, how he needed something more. He needed help. He could not reach God on his own. When the time was right, God sent his perfect son to bear the punishment that man deserved. Jesus Christ, the Savior, that when men die, those who believe can stand before God. They can be made perfect again by the sacrificial blood that Jesus shed. This is the gospel, the good news. When there was no way for us to get to God, he made a way. He came to us. And in the end, he will make all things new. So now, in this complicated world, at the end of all things, there exists only two paths. The path away from God, whose travelers have not yet heard or do not believe they are in need of rescue, or the narrow road that leads to God, whose travelers were also lost until they met Jesus.